All right. So now break time is over. Let's go ahead and uh, start making our uh, icon first. Okay. Uh, you're going to do that uh, by going to this site. It's pixlr.com. Uh, this site is like a Photoshop, but it's online, and it's real easy to use. It's fun to use, actually. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make our icon and our uh, splash page also. Okay, so what you're going to do, go to pixel.com. Now, let me close these up. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and close these up real quick. See if that'll help us speed through this. Okay. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go to open, open picture editor. Let me uh, mix those up. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh boy. Now what? Okay. <clears throat> Take a long time to load. Come on, come on. All right, there we go. Okay. So, what we're going to do is open an image from computer. So, go ahead and click that. Okay. Now I'm thinking of the image that I want to use. Um, let's see. I'm kind of looking at this one. Then again, I like that one too. Um, hmm. That's for our icon. Um, <clears throat> and our screen. Yeah, let's let's go with this one. Cause I got an idea how I'm gonna do this one. Um, so let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, and that's gonna open up. And well, you know what? When I uh, and I I kind of get indecisive at this point <laughs> a lot of times. Uh, let me go back to my images. Let me see something. Let me see something real quick. Because I'm kind of between, you know, I want to use the images that they give you for Candy Crush, but then again, I don't. Um, and I'm thinking two ways here. You know, people know the name already, and they know the icon, so they'll click, they'll be able to click that. Then they uh, click something probably generic kind of looking, but I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm. Let's see here. I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, yeah. So let's see. Let me uh, X that one out. Okay. And open computer. And well, then again, I like that one too. Let's go with that one. Okay, and that's our image. Now, this next piece of software, uh, I only have this, and uh, I can make this available to you, uh, but you have to email me. Matter of fact, I'll make it available to you, but... Um, you have to have the green app machine and you you would have to have purchased it through my affiliate link actually okay so send me your receipt with your affiliate link um, not with your affiliate link with your um, with your purchase that you got the uh, green app machine and I'll send you the icon maker let me show this to you real quick we're gonna go to file we're gonna go to open image and we're gonna go to my Pixlr icon. Like I said, uh, it's not available anywhere. This came with the Apco 2.0 training, actually. They made it available to me. 
after you spent the money but this will make you a nice looking icon with gloss on it and everything so we open that up and like I said um, I'll make this available to you just send me shoot me an email with your receipt for your green app machine uh, you know let me know that you bought it and I will send you the template for this okay but we got a template okay so now we're gonna go back to our image go back to our image we're gonna go to edit we're going to select all or control a you know right here on your computer either one select all I'm gonna go to edit again and copy it or control C so let's copy it okay let's go to our icon maker let's click over here okay we're gonna to go to <clears throat> Larry 11 okay just click on Larry 11 okay make sure you're on Larry 11 and you're gonna add a new layer so we're gonna go right here and we're gonna add a new layer Matter of fact, it'll tell you what it is. It says new layer right there. So click that. Okay. Now, you're going to hover over your icon and you're going to paste it. Or you, you can hit Control V or go to Edit. I'm sorry, let's make sure we got it clicked here. Okay. Either Control V or go to Edit and you're going to paste. Okay. So let's paste that there, and there it is. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do? Go to our first image, and we're just gonna delete this one. So let's X that out. Okay. Do you want to save changes? No. Okay. All right. So now we're left with our icon that we're gonna work with. So let's move this over a little bit. Okay. Let's get a little room here. Okay, now what I want to do is, uh, oh, let me see something real quick. I want to see what the Candy Crush Saga uh, icon looks like real quick. Okay, just bear with me. Okay. Come on, computer. Come on. Okay, but this is the icon so far. And what we, I might take that gloss off, the shine off, because it doesn't make it look good. But uh, that's where we're at so far. So let me see. Taking a long time to load. Let me pause the computer. Okay, finally loaded. And now I'm looking at some uh, Candy Crush icons. Okay, uh, remember this one? Then we see this on a Creative Commons site. Yes, we did. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me look at some more. Okay. I'm gonna get a general idea on some things here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, okay. That's the that's the game. Okay. All right. I know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Um, Okay, that's one game cheats. Okay, nice looking icons. Okay, all right. So, let's go back to icon. Now, we need to resize this so that it will fit inside of our 512 by 512 uh, uh, image. And you can see the image size right here. Oh boy. At the bottom of, of that. <laughs> 512 by 512. I have a lot of problems there. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to edit. I want to go to free transform. Okay. So click free transform. And that's going to allow you to resize your image. Okay. You see here, you got the little uh, uh, squares up there. Okay. So we're going to shrink this down. Now, to do that, you're going to have to press. Uh, shift and move and move the arrow to resize your image. Okay, so I'm going to press shift and move the arrow down 
because we're going to resize it's too big right now and we'll move it down like that okay and I'm going to try it right there see what we're looking like now move it back and you can move the image to the middle or resize it how you want okay it's still really big really really big so let's um, try it again let's uh, get that corner there press shift move it on down not that big not that small okay try it right there okay and let's move it try and center it a little bit okay hmm let's see it got a bit of a uh, kind of like that but then again hmm let's see what can I do here I could always add some uh, some fill-in space at the top there. Let's see. Uh, let me see if I can make it a little bigger. Let's see if we can fill that whole space up. Okay. Shift. Go up. Okay. Stop it right there. Let's see what we got. Okay, and almost. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. All right, I'm going to uh, let's see. Move it down a little bit. All right, right there. Now, from this point, I'm going to distort it just a little bit so I'm gonna grab it right here and I'm gonna move it up move it up like this okay so it distorted it a little bit not much okay probably about right there okay I'm going to come in on the side too. I want to get this guy's picture in there because it's going to round the corners of that icon. So let's. Well, computer's moving slow. Okay. I'm going to see how it's going to look. Move in. All right. Move in a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. It's not looking too bad. All right. Now let's move it up. Let's move it up again. Oh, come on. Going real slow. All right. By the boom. Let's do it like that. Move it in a little bit more. Like that, that, that's kind of looking distorted, isn't it? Hmm. Alright, we're gonna go with that. I may make another one later. Okay. Now I want to take that shiny level off. Okay. So I'm gonna go to layer 12. You see this layer 12 here? If you tick that box, you take that shiny level off. Take it again and put it back on. To get, okay, so we want to take that off. Okay, for what I'm doing. Now, our next step is once we got it, um, um, once we got it centered, and we got it in our image, we're gonna go back to layer 11. Let's go back to layer 11. Press layer 11. Okay. Now we're gonna go inside this box here. Okay. And we're going to press down control and click inside that square there. So I'm going to press control and click. And it's going to put those marching ants around there. Okay. 
that levels off our icon so it's um, so this uh, rounded out on the ends there see those little marching ant things around there okay like that all right now let's um, I'm gonna go to level four press level four okay now what we're gonna do now is go to this uh, image right here with a little circle in it it says add layer mask so let's click that and that's going to make our icon like that add a layer mask okay now I kind of cut his hair off in there but I'm not going to too much worry about that right now uh, I may go back and make another icon but our icon is made okay so let's go ahead and go back to file And we're going to click save. And we're going to save this as, let's see, Candy Crush Level. And I'm put dash icon or IC1. So I know that's an icon. That's the first icon. And it says format. I'm going to change this to uh, PNG. Now I could leave it at PXD, which is uh, the Pixlr format, and I can go back and make changes, but I'm not going to do that right now. So we're just going to save it as a PNG. Click OK. And we're going to save that in our folder. Go to Images. Now I'm going to make another folder. This folder is going to say Candy Crush Levels, uh, let me see, go here, come on, come on, moving slow here, I think I might come back and use that uh, brown cookie thingy, come on, let's try it again, Lord. Oops, didn't want to do that. Come on. Okay, new. Well, we're moving slow. Hold it. Okay. Uh, candy. Crush. Uh, icon splash screenshots. So we're going to take those shortly. And header, maybe, but we'll just keep it like that. Okay. Okay. And we're going to save it. All right. All right. And we saved it. Okay, so let's close this out. <laughs> Woo! Do you want to save? No. Okay. Now, next step, I'm going to close Pixlr out and I'm going to open it back up because I'm going to do something else. And that's just something I do to uh, make sure it starts off fresh, so to speak. Now, let's go back to Pixlr. Okay. Come on. Boy, let's pause the video. Okay, finally loaded. Okay, now we're going to go to Open Pixlr again. Or Open Pixlr Editor. Okay. <clears throat> Come on. All right, we're going to go to Create New Image. Okay, we're going to name this image. This is going to be our splash screen. So let's see, Candy Crush. Candy Crush 
level splash. Let's, see, let's make that capital letter so I don't know the difference. Splash. Not, well, I know what it is. Splash. Okay. <laughs> we're going to make this with, we're going to make it 640. These are the dimensions of our green app machine splash screen by 861. Come on. All right. And we're going to click OK. OK. Now, we're going to move this to the side. OK. Gonna move this to the side. All right. Now, let's go to File. And we're going to open image. <clears throat> How did I get that to go small, man? Boy, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, because that covers up everything. All right, let's go to Candy Crush, images, and we're going to go to our guy right here. You know, I started to use this one. Anyway, I may go back and uh, make another icon. <laughs> okay, but anyway. That's my indecisiveness kicking in again. So, we've got our image here. Now, let's go to edit. Edit. Select all. Or you can use your keypad. It doesn't matter. Matter of fact, I'm going to use my keypad. I got select all. Control C. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back to my uh, splash screen. Click on it. Control V. Okay. All right. Go back to my image here. My cursor keeps disappearing. Okay, I don't need this one anymore. So X that out. Save changes? No. Okay. Now this is going to be my splash screen. Okay. Alright. So now I'm going to go to free transform. Go to edit and free transform so I can adjust the size. And grab that corner, and I'm going to press Shift as I move it. Come on. Shift. Move it down. Okay. Hmm. Well, I do not like that. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that's not that's not looking not resizing like I want it. Um, um okay, let's see. Now it's not looking nothing like I want it, but I'm gonna try something. We're gonna go with it for now. I may come back and make another one, but what I can do is, ooh, nah, that's not looking good at all. I'm gonna distort it, no matter what. Um, let's see. I could put that behind a white white background, though. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, what we're going to do, uh, oh yeah, let me do something real quick, you know. Okay, um, go to free transform again. Let's see. Come on. Shift. Now some more. Come on. All right. Move that to the center there. All right. Okay. Let's reduce it some more. 
want to try something. Come on, stop moving there. All right. Okay. All right. Now, what I am going to do is... Okay, just like that. All right, let me leave that like that for a minute. I'm going to go to my uh, other editor, snag it real quick. Because we're going to go ahead and roll with this image. Normally, I just go ahead and find another image where I can resize it, but I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to go to snag it real quick. If it'll let me go. Come on. It's opening up slowly but surely. Okay, I'm back. Um, I decided to do something different. I'm not going to use this image here. So we're just going to start making the uh, splash screen all over again. So let me close this out. No. And let's start it all over again. Okay. I had to go do some tweaking to the other image of the brown uh, cookie-like thing. So we're going to go with that. So create, and then we're going to name it. Um, Candy Crush Splash. Okay. Not slash, but splash. Okay. Our size is going to be, can you guess? 640 by what? 861. Okay. And actually, well, actually, I didn't even have to do that. But I'm just going to do it for demonstration purposes. Okay. Um, so we're going to put it right there. Now let's go to File. Open Image. Okay, and it's right there. I had to, I edited that. I used my Snagit editor. Let me just show you real quick. I used Snagit to put that cookie inside of that green background like that. Okay. I'll show you that at another time, though. But we're going to use the image right here. Okay, and this is already resized actually. That's all I was saying. I didn't have to resize it again by putting this image here, but just for demonstration purposes, we're going to do it. So, I'm going to click this. I'm going to go to select all, right? Go to, go to copy. Then we're going to go to our splash screen. Then we're going to paste it here. And that's all we have to do to make our um, splash screen. So I'm going to delete this one. Do you want to do No. Okay. All right. So we got our splash screen. Now we're going to try some uh, other tweaks on here to see if we can get going here. Um, I'm going to add some lettering to this. Now let's go to our type tool right here. So let's click that. Um, I'm going to type in here candy crush. Let me make that candy crush levels. Levels help. Let's try it like this. Let's um levels and help okay let me move this over here to the side so I can work come on over come on over there there we go alright and let's put this in the middle here now I want to change the I want to change the size and the lettering type and the color so uh, let's make that kind of like a blue or yellow well let's make it a uh, yellow or red let's see let's see what we got here um, how about that yellow there okay and let's change the lettering let's see okay first of all let's make it bigger Let's see what we got going here. 
any crush level help you know it looks nice okay let's get some nice lettering to go with it um matter of fact let's try this um uh da, 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 da. trying to think some things real quick i want i want to use three three letters three um let's see okay let's move that around so, all right <clears throat> now let's see Candy Crush help level. Ah, I like that. Yeah. Oops. What did I do? Candy Crush levels help. AR Carter will be the font for that. Yeah. Okay, so let's go with that. Uh, let's make it a little bigger. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see something here. That uh Candy Crush levels help. Put it right there because it's kind of interfering. Okay, let's try okay, I got it. Let's try this. Will that work? That looks pretty good. Let's make that bold. Or let's see. Well, let's make it regular. Bold candy crush levels help. Uh hmm. I can make different colors. Doesn't have to all be yellow. Okay, yeah, let's try that. Okay. So let's take off this one and put another another level on there. Spent a lot of time on this, but bear with me, y'all. Candy crush. I don't want it bold. I want it regular. Candy Crush. Okay. Boom. Let's do that. Now do the lettering again. Oops. <clears throat> okay. Let's move the text box up. Box up. Levels. Levels help. Okay, now let's move it up a little bit. How about we make that blue or red or blue? Let's try blue, like sky blue. That uh, how about right there? Levels help. Candy Crush Levels Help Guide. Looking good. That looks good. Okay. Candy Crush Levels Help. Move it down a little bit. Let's see. I may change it later. I don't know. We're going with that for now. Uh, let's see. Candy Crush Levels Help. And that looks good to me. Probably could put some lettering up here though. Okay, we're going with that. Okay, so let's press OK. And how about if I put guy right there? Guy. Well, I don't know. I'm going to call it that yet. Anyway, we're going with that for now. Um, and let's see, anything else I can do, we're going to leave it like that, let's go to file, and save, Candy Crush Splash, let's go PNG, and we're going to save it, okay, and we're going to save that in our splash screen folder, save, okay, now, we're going to make our icon real quick, okay, so let's X that out. You want to say uh, no. Okay, let's make an icon real quick. Open up. And let's uh, 
go to our images let's go should I go with the big cookie um, uh, pad. let's try this real quick okay now let's open up our icon okay Twelve by five, twelve. Okay. Now, let's go here. Tip, click on that. Let's go to select all. Right. What's our next step? Copy. Right. Let's go to our icon. Click it. We're gonna go to level eleven. Okay. Add new layer. Maybe I better slow down. Hope y'all with me. <laughs> okay. Add new layer. Now, control V to paste it. All right, good. Let's X this one out. No. Okay. We're going to do what now? Free transform, right? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, free transform. So we can resize it. Okay. Press our shift key. Put our arrow in the corner. Go down like that. Okay. Okay, let's center it. All right, looking good. Looking good. Okay, let's, let's shrink it a little bit more. Okay. Okay. And let's move it up. Let me get that. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, looking good. Okay, that looks really good. Yeah, I can go with that. Okay, let's take off our layer. Real quick. Uh oh, shoot. Alright. Let's, uh, first, before we take off our layer, let's we move this in a little bit okay looking good all right let's press enter okay now let's take off our layer and that's gonna be our icon matter of fact we're gonna put uh we're gonna put some lettering on there let's see uh our other lettering was uh what color is yellow Candy Crush. Good. Now, usually on your icon, you don't want to put letters because sometimes they don't look too good, and, and you know, uh, and and they don't show up because you know it's only so much letter you can get in that small space on an icon. But in this case, we're going to make it as large as possible. And see what happens. Like that. Uh, we're going to make that yellow. As a matter of fact, let's make it blue. Let's try that. I like that blue. Candy Crush. Eh. You know what? Yellow may make it stand out. Oh, well, how about red? Let's see how red will look dark red. How would that look? Um, hmm. There's a darker red, maybe? Let's see if we can make it darker. Candy Crush. How about yellow? <laughs> Let's try yellow. All right, Candy Crush. Can we make it bigger? Can we make it bold? Let's do it like that. Candy Crush. All right. Levels. 
But you know, I actually that black shows up good. That black trumps everything. Candy Crush levels. Okay, let's uh. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's see. Uh, try something. Yeah, yeah, that black, that black is probably the best. For some reason. Candy Crush levels. Let's go with the black. For this one too. Ah, shoot. Okay. Make it black. Okay. I don't know how that look. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how that, I don't know. Really, I don't like how that black looks. <laughs> okay. Let me go back with the, uh, oh, the sky blue. About the yellow. Okay, let's go with the yellow. All right, let's go with that. And another one. Levels. And let's make that uh, as big as we can get it. Make it bold. Okay. Let's make it a. Uh, make it black. All right, so now, Candy Crush Levels, now, let's go to level 11 again, okay, now we're going to contr uh, click control and click it inside the box, what the, what I do, what I do, what I do, okay, I do, okay, <laughs> I did something here. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, that's an icon. And we're going to go to layer four. Okay. It's layer four. What the, what I do? No. What happened? Undo. Okay. Layer four. I'm going to press uh, circle, right, add layer mask. All right, there we go. Whew. Okay. File, save, and Candy Crush IC2. That's the one we're going to use. Okay. And let's make this PNG. Actually, that looks pretty good. Okay. I'm going to save that in level uh, images. And that's it. Okay. All right. Now, that's it. Nope. Okay. So, 
I will we're gonna take a break and I'll see you in the next video I hope uh, I hope this kind of went through but in the next video we're gonna make some changes uh, and we're gonna put some uh, put some uh, some barbecue sauce on this icon <laughs> okay see you in a minute